Hello, I'm Carla. And I'm Kevin. And this is week three here in August 2015 at Wednesday Night Hop. Flow and Momentum. All right, so we continued on our four count theme a little bit longer, uh, leading steps versus triple steps. Uh, we did a little four count double handed pass, it looks like this. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we talked about how this is kind of like a swing out in that the leader has to get out of the way first. Yes. Following that, we added a turn to it, uh, which looks like this. We're going to go that way. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three. Uh, Let's do it this way so we yeah. can kind of see what's happening. Five, six, seven, eight. One, rock, two, step, three, step, four, step, five, step, six. Step, rock, step, ha. And so you'll see there's this position now that we're taking the extra turn where we're getting a little bit more side by side. So we're going rock, step, step, step. Notice that the leader, Kevin's stepping back in. So we're, we're really parallel here. We're, our, our hips are in And the closer we are in this line, the easier the next turn will be. Yeah. When we're out here, it's a lot harder. Yeah. So we really want to get next to the follower to and start the five, step. six, rock, step. And the idea is that you really want to keep your follower on the same track the whole time. So you can see from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the leaders are getting just side by side on that track there. Then we added an extra turn. Then we added an extra turn. So let's travel this way. Sure. Looks like this. <laughs> one, one, two, three, three four, five, five, six, seven, seven eight. eight. One, one, two. And the whole thing with this is that you already have this momentum going down the track, and you're just going to continue it so for the extra turn. For the five, six, five, six, and then we just shove this hand Gently down through there, seven, seven eight. eight. Reach out, collect your fall. It's going to keep the momentum going. One, Rock, two. Seven. Yeah. And we used uh, either a four count or a six count ending for that. Again, working so on leading the difference between steps and triples. We did uh, these. So one, Ooh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, or one, one two, two, three, and time, four, five, and, and six. And a whole lot more for that if you're going to do triple steps. So if we put that together, just doing the whole turn, maybe into the triple step ending to show the difference in rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, a boo, wah, ah. I did mention that it's really important, followers, that you're keeping a little bit of a bend in your knees and keeping your steps with momentum as opposed to just stepping straight down and or straight legged and losing your momentum because your leader needs that for these moves to work. Then we did a little from across a little four count pass behind the back. Looks like so this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So working on this flow behind the back here where leaders have to lead us in a turn while they turn the opposite direction here. One, two, three, four. Keep going out fast. He's going to catch your momentum. Five, six, and then we're slowing the whole two counts down on the way in. Yeah, so this is actually quite a bit to this uh, initiating this uh, four count uh, behind the back pass by. Uh, so it's all, it's all in how you let go and uh, how, how you step through as a leader. Because we can, we can make this a six count. But yes. we're not gonna show that, we're just gonna do the four count. Yes, the four count, and there's like this sense of urgency yeah. with the four count. He's really telling me, go! So that I don't have time to do triple steps or take my time with two beats. I wanna just take step, step to get through the pass in time. And All that right. was that. Awesome job, you guys.